Alright, it's time to roll on with some more of Mass Effect 2. Bringing the Krogan to study makes sense, but I have concerns about waking it. I'll have to start this yeah, again. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I'm not saying we take a crowbar to it right now, but I'm not giving up a potential resource. It's your decision, Commander. Just be careful. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with them. So this is where we left off last time. So now we have to, uh... I'm gonna go pry this thing open and, uh... Broken's all about. In the debriefing room, huh? Now, what does he want? Okay, so the DB room is on this floor. So let's go see what the elusive man wants. Um... Oh. Okay, so we were already there. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. Last I knew, Ash was Alliance. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies, but they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Perhaps you should take it up with her. The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew? I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you, especially if they're working for the Reapers. They might be going after her to get to you. We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Huh. Joker, set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the Professor. Aye, aye, Commander. This will prove interesting. Tell me you have something. Yes. Lilith, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you. Run!
very reminiscent of The Swarm, which is a horror movie about killer bees attacking a small town. We'll worry about the legacy later. Because right now we're stuck on Horizon. Mort, you sure these armor upgrades will protect us from the Seeker Swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should confused detection make us invisible to swarms? In theory. In theory? Experimental technology. Only test is contact with Seeker Swarms. Have to test them in person. Should be exciting. Of course it's exciting. You're the professor and you want results. Lost shield.
sister ship disrupting communications. We're on our own now. Those things look like the husks the Geth used on Eden Prime. The Geth got that technology from Sovereign. Elusive Man was right. Collectors working with Reapers. That's a deadly combination. We can use this. Characteristics, possibly repurposed colonists. No. On Eden Prime, they use giant spikes to turn people into husks. Dragon's teeth. I don't see any here. These aren't the colonists. The collectors took them for something else. Live. The collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Yes, sir. signs of resistance. Must have happened quickly.
goodies I may have missed. Oh, I see the chance for all of them. I get you. Company, get out here now. You're, you're human. What are you doing out here? You lead them right here. You had to hear them try to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors. You mean they're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. No, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Stan, too. They, they got damn near everybody. What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. 
I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of... ox. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Chief Williams? Heard she was some kind of hero or something. Didn't mean nothing to me, though. Would have rather she just stayed back in council space. Any idea what she was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling she was here for something else. Spying on us, maybe. Tell me about the Colony Defense Towers. A gift from the Alliance. High-powered Guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and drew attention to ourselves. I left Council Space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. The Collectors are targeting remote colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't need their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said she was just here to get the towers online, but mark my words, there's more to it. The Alliance doesn't care about the Terminus colonies. Damn straight, that's what I tried to tell everybody. The Alliance didn't send someone out here because they want to help us. They were after something, always are. If you have defenses, we can use them against the Collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. We should be able to figure it out. Just tell us where to find it. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. It's probably just better if you stay out of the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. Good luck. I think you're gonna need it. you know. This should come in handy. Surprised we haven't run across more frozen colonists. 
colonists loaded onto ship. Collectors nearly finished here. Need to hurry. Normandy, do you copy? Joker here. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the increased generator output. Collectors will respond with force to stop it. Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Thank you for pointing out the obvious.
Doubtful that enemy has withdrawn. Reinforcements likely. Get away! That ship is huge. Exactly how are we supposed to catch it? Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Sam and, and Lilith. Do something! I didn't want it to end this way. I did what I could. Don't beat yourself up, Shepard. Shepard? Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander Shepard, Captain of the Normandy. First human specter, savior of the Citadel. You're in the presence of a god, Delan, back from the dead. Oh, the good people we lost, and you get left behind. Figures. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did.
You don't sound too happy to see me. Something bothering you, Ash? Yeah, something's bothering me. I spent the past two years believing you were dead. I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. I thought you were gone. I... You were more than our Commander. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Not my choice. I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. You're with Cerberus now? I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? What reports? Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. I got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. I went to Anderson, but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Cerberus and I want the same thing, to save our colonies. That doesn't mean I answer to them. Do you really believe that? Or is that just what Cerberus wants you to think? I wanted to believe that you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Ash, you know me. You know I'd only do this for the right reason. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? Typical Alliance attitude. So hung up on Cerberus, you can't see the real threat. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of facts. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe it's you. Doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. So long, Commander. Good luck. Joker, send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Well, that was, uh, very interesting. Shepard, good work on Horizon. Hopefully the Collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. It's not a victory. We interrupted the Collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive. And with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony? Just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected the Collectors were looking for you, or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. I told you I wouldn't sit and wait while the Reapers and Collectors gather strength. Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collectors stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? It was hard to see Ashley again. And now it's done. Best to leave those connections behind and focus on our mission. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at 
their best. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. And be careful, Shepard. The Collectors will be watching you. I guess we're really gonna do it. Hit the Omega-4 relay. Take the fight to the Collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. Something on your mind? No, just... There's a good chance we're not coming back, even if we get it done. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. I imagine everyone else is, too. Getting some closure, you know? Take this in my quarters. Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. What is Dr. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground at a Batarian outpost on Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hack it out. Yeah, 
Yeah, come on, come on, come on. These poor fish are starving to death. And now I have nothing. Open up this uh, pod. Hmm. Which side of the cargo is this thing on? There it is. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. He's either a powerful addition to the crew or a time bomb. I'd rather deal with it now. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. Shepherd of the Normandy. Not your name. Mine. I'm trained. I know things. But the tank, Okir couldn't implant connection. His words are hollow. Warlord, legacy, Grunt. Grunt. Grunt was among the last. It has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You wouldn't prefer Oak here? Or Legacy? It's short. Matches the training in my blood. The other words are big things I don't feel. Maybe they fit your mouth better. I feel nothing for Oak here's clan or his enemies. I'll do what I'm bred to do. Fight and determine the strongest. But his imprint has failed. Without a reason that's mine. One fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. I have a good ship and a strong crew. A strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy. No doubt about that. Mm. Hm. That's... acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. Huh? <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan... If I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. Ain't you a charmer. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
All right. So where next? Kind of a shame that uh, Ash didn't join our crew. Whatever. Hook up with that Liara.
Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nos Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Kill two birds with one stone. How nice. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. A source reports that the attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress is being investigated as a possible terrorist attack by dissidents from former Council races. While no formal statement has been issued, the Council has made formal information requests of the Salarian Special Tasks Group. 25. You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again. Oh, them. Because of you. How did you possess another Asari? You can't just take over people's minds like that. Peace, Shepard. The Rachni Queen does not control my thoughts. That was merely the message I was asked to deliver. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship. And I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off-world again. 
Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the Keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful, and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to, and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Weird. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. This place is one bad day away from becoming Omega. Who said that? Gianna? Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Nothing I can talk about. No offense, but Novaria was dealing with the enemy last time. Damn, you're a hard ass. I'd forgotten that. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Like someone who needs high quality equipment feel free to look around my store has the best tech and biotic equipment on ilium is everything here so expensive i plan to drop a lot of credits today really i'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission i need the best and i'm willing to pay for it as long as you work with me well perhaps i could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk here a small discount and when i get special items in you can take a look 
What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. An internal affairs agent from Novaria is trying to catch you dealing with smuggled goods. Parasini? Hell, thanks for the warning. I'm gonna get lost and remove some evidence. I'll program the kiosk to offer you a discount, though. Where the hell am I gonna go next, Omega? This should come in handy. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing all right. Um, how are things on your end? My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download... That's well, a good thing I get that, uh, hacking module. Pray. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilya. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Alright, yeah. I think I had to do this once before. Why would Samara have to but it's something I don't do all that officer. much. 
Yeah, I'll, criminal? I'll keep that in mind. No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nasana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship, or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack... Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. This ought to be interesting. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Carosa family. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Hmm. All right, go and get your coffee. Take your time. I am not going anywhere. Serena? Who wants to know? Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Lyra Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower One. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You better be ready. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2.
towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dante's Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. Taking. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then, <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> Here, that should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Really? This guy? Why? Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nassan has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, Slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving.
killed. Yeah, that's real fair. Excuse me. Uh, gotcha. 
Kill us. We'll go. We'll go. Hey, look. They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's okay to come out. Have you seen anyone suspicious who isn't a Merc? Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Sounds like our assassin's going soft. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! I <laughs> just love that little quip. Aim for the head because she doesn't have a heart. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, anyways, let's go find our assassin friend. should get behind stuff.
Very slow. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of the saddest mercs. Who are you? Tell me where the assassin is. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. How about goodbye? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, son.
I'll take it. We've been spotted. better. And now you're here to kill me. You really are paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You've brought this on yourself. I wouldn't stop it even if I could. What do you mean? Of course you can stop it. Just don't... What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. 
You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... <laughs> So this is our guy. Good. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize. But prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I take it that means you're on the team? I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Keep it simple, people. We've all got the same goal. Maintain the objective. Aye, aye, sir. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected as an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. I'll keep that in mind. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after I spent the last two years here. I had a purpose, a goal. Now that I've accomplished it, something occurs to me. In all that time, I never looked at the horizon. It is spectacular. I need minimal heat increase and speed. By the stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using bionics to touch things up, are you? I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no, that crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. So then he's... You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from... Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad. Ha! Kick him in the quad! Sorry, my father was a Krogan. Man, I should have gotten better armor. That really hurts. Anyway. Get angry if you want, but somebody had to do something. You were dead. I stepped up. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The irony of this is that I was actually nice to this guy. Someone like you, Shepard. We all did. So for him to call me a drink is uh, a lot of question. How did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. 
I'm with the bartender in the background. So you just wander the galaxy righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachnite Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some humans go. Anyways, I think this is a... Well, I think it's uh There's more. Yeah, this is a good place to stop for right now. Thanks to all of you who watched. Thanks to you who joined me in the chat. I will see everybody next time.